All right, guys. I'm soldering my wire for that goes with my fuse panel. This is the one thing I just, I really stink at soldering. I cannot get a clean bead. But you can see I've got the wires twisted on here. I'm just going to put some. And if you know how to solder and you can identify what I'm doing wrong, I'm going to have you leave a comment. That one's not too bad, actually. I'm going to twist this and get the back side of it now. I twisted those wires, and that helps. Thank God for my four hands. So I'm soldering on a fuse to the aviator plug that goes to my goes to the blue eddy that's going in this transit bill. That's actually not a, that's actually not, that's probably one of my better solders actually. So the XT60 goes to the blue eddy. I've got my inline fuse. I've got a 20 amp fuse in that. And then this will go to the fuse panel and I will have power. Welcome to the channel and welcome to the fourth episode of this Ford Transit build. In today's video, we're working on wiring and I've got my two apprentices here. We have been pulling wire all day. I'm going to show you what we've got going on. I went ahead and brought the Blue Eddy into the van. We needed power. I wanted to heat up the floor. I wanted to use my heat gun. So we went ahead. We got the Blue Eddy in the van. She's got the AC200 Max. It's got the 30 amp port and it's got a 2000 watt inverter in it. So we've been pulling all the 12 volt wire today. And the most important thing that I've been teaching these guys is we have to remember where everything's going to go because once the walls are up, there's no going back. Anything else has to be on the outside of the wall or the wall has to come down. So let me show you what all we've got wired. All right, so back here, we've got the Blue Eddy in the back. It is going to be back here underneath this bed. I went ahead and brought the Blue C fuse panel out so that I could get the fan hooked up. We could get some air circulating back here. You can see this mess right here. This is a temporary mess. This will all be cleaned up. Got all the connectors on them. This is my water pump, my ball valve, LEDs. Everything comes out here. It'll be mounted to this fuse panel once this wall is up. The wires have to be wired before we put the wall up. Got them fed up through the wall and then across the top because the bulk of the wire in this build comes up to the galley. The galley is going to be right here, and we need an outlet. We need an AC outlet, so I've got that here. We need a water pump. We need a ball valve. Our LEDs will go here on a dimmer switch. I'm going to make them dim underneath the sink. We're going to make all these lights dim. You can see I was able to run them across the ceiling as well. Because the ceiling comes down to here, and these notches are above that ceiling level. Everything was able to come out here. This is the fan. You can see, I think, the fan is running. On this side of the van, we've got our wires coming across here. She will have a dimmer switch on the back side of the shower. That way, when she's laying in bed and it's time to go to sleep, she can reach up, she can turn the lights off, and nobody has to get out of bed. This one right here. This is going to go through the shower wall here, and it's going to come on this side of the wall. They've got a drop-down table, so they're going to have an outlet, a USB, and a dimmer switch. That way, when they walk in the van at night, they can hit that switch, and the four puck lights that are going to be on this side of the van will come on. This switch above her bed is going to control these back LED lights. So, and that'll be on a dimmer switch as well. Also, reading lights are going to come out here and also on his side of the bed. Reading lights will come out there as well. AC outlet's going to come back here. That's for the hot water heater. An AC outlet at the back of the van here. That way they've got, they've got drop-down tables here as well. And they can 
charge the computers while they're on while they're using them so anyway so this is the start let me turn this around this is the start of the wiring we got a whole bulk of it done today so very excited about everything done today once we start wiring led wiring the leds and the um usb ports the reading lights i'll update you guys on that but for right now we are waiting on some more loom waiting on um i gotta get some more ac wire but this wiring is about knocked out in in this one day all right guys let me show you how i connect my fuse panel if you haven't seen it, how I connect it to the Blue Eddy AC Max. This cord is sold separately. You can get it on Amazon and I will leave a link. It's got the XT60 on it. And what I do is I just make a cord. It's XT60 male to a extra fuse. I put a 20 amp fuse in that. And then that goes on 12 gauge wires to my fuse panel. And that will control the Blue Eddy on the 12 volt, this is the 12 volt 30 amp port, it screws in so it doesn't come out, it'll control the fuse panel. As the solar panels are up, the solar panels are hooked up and they are working. She's got two 210 watt solar panels back here. Up front, she's got one 210 watt solar panel, so she has got 630 watts of solar panel. These are connected in series on the alu rack here so all right let's let's show you inside how we got it hooked up so the solar panels come in through the the transit's got little circles in the roof you pull them out and it's got access onto the inside so i brought the cables in here they're coming down the wall here out here i've got loom on them they'll come down with the rest of the wires here out my electrical system here everything that's electrical is going to be in this corner so two two solar wires here those are 10 gauge solar wires um and they are hooked up to the blue eddy and it's funny the blue eddy here they use uh those are 12 gauge wires but hooks up and you can see i don't think oh my goodness we're pulling 105 watts and it is like sleeting or snowing or something outside so can't go wrong with that all right guys just a quick video this week so i gotta head home for kelly's banquet and the temperatures are dropping we we are done with all of our good weather i think so thanks for following along we'll see you guys on the next video